Antonia's longest back in 2019. Um, yes, those okay. ones. Okay. okay, sorry guys, Ely. Um, and it does, it that attaches to your big toe, and so my, my big toe has like really limited um, mobility and strength. So this kind of helps. Which toe? Both toes? One toe? The one I injured, the ankle I injured. Left, my left one. So it helps me kind of like get up on it. You know, it, oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, I was going to say, you know, back to the marathon trials. I mean, it could be hot in Paris too. I mean, do you think yeah. this, to some extent this is just going to be an, an increasing problem as the planet warms? Yeah, actually, it does seem like we're seeing that more and more. Like New York last year, it's rarely this hot this late in the year and it was a hot, steamy day. So I do think that's probably going to be something we see more of. Any, any plans for track races next year? Track races? Probably not. No, I think I'm going to stick to the roads. So no, no trial, no 10K trials or anything? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Sorry to probably ask some of the same questions they've already asked you, but how's your fitness? What are, what are the goals for Sunday? Um, fitness is kind of a question mark. Like we did a little less in this build up than I normally do. Um, so we'll see what happens. I definitely, I kind of know I'm gonna be like doing a race within a race. Like I'm not gonna be racing world record holders or anything in the front but um definitely have goals like I want to get under the 229 30 that you need for the trials and um just have a good experience because it's been a while since I finished a marathon yeah did you scale it back with the trials in mind or coming back or like what was the reason yeah, for that we kind of just had to because I was coming off of a um a femoral stress fracture and I just didn't have time to do the normal like progression for the build-up and I wanted to make sure I did it safely and didn't like re-injure it so we kind of just did what we could do and the whole trials AAC letter like you don't want to change the time I can't remember what's your position on that um I did want to change the they time do. yes okay. I think a majority of us wanted to change okay. the time just because you know for peace of mind like of all the hours in a day to run a marathon, noon to three is like probably not. But um, we'll do. I'll do whatever it is. I'll prepare. I'll do all the heat training and stuff. It just would be easier to not do it. <laughs> How do you generally approach heat training? Or like a, a hot human race? Yeah, I haven't done a sauna training. I might look up the sauna protocols, but usually we just go somewhere warm and wear a few layers. Um, also, doing like treadmill workouts indoors is recommended. So I'll probably experiment with that, um, just because it can be like more humid inside than outside. It's, not actually that weather outside um what? so yeah all that stuff what's the sauna protocol what is that it I, I have to look up how many minutes a day it is but like you do a certain number of minutes a day after your run in the sauna it's meant to like help you get you just heat. go hang out in there i guess so you can also use like a hot bathtub um you kind of have to know what you're doing you don't want to like deplete yourself so I'll go research that do you have a sauna like in your house or would that be like a no gym? i'll probably do the bathtub or go to a gym or something like that yeah and with the trials letter, has there been much, sounds like there hasn't been much information coming out to you guys for the athletes or like, are you letting the AAC handle that? Like even in their letter, they say, oh, it'll be a $700,000 difference or something. Like, yeah. We're like I, yeah. it's not explained. Do you know anything more than we do? I feel like we're not getting a ton of information. I know there was a phone call with some of the athletes and USATF and um, NBC, I think was involved and it sounds like the local organizing committee is the last uh, like holdout that wants to keep it at that time and I'm sure they have a reason for that but I haven't heard what their reasoning is so yeah that's I don't get a ton of information no. <laughs> do you worry about it much? No I mean I'm gonna show up and do whatever but I just think it seems unnecessary uh, to have it at that time um, and LA seemed pretty like that was 10 a.m. start time and that was pretty hot and people were having problems after the race so it would be nice to avoid that but maybe it'll be a cool day but maybe it won't so <laughs> yeah i mean florida noon yeah it'll be hot pretty hot yeah well, good luck sunday thanks thank you appreciate it